Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're taking a look at Ibis Trusted Advisor. So Trusted Advisor is a recommendation tool which automatically and actively monitors your Ibis accounts to provide actual recommendations across a series of categories. So this is what it looks like. I personally prefer the older dashboard, but this is what they have now. And you can see along the side, we have a bunch of categories, and then we have some checks here saying, uh, you know, what are we meeting, what are we not? And you can go in and read each one and they'll tell you so much information. They'll even show you like what things are not meeting that requirements. In some case, you can easily remediate by pressing a button, not in all cases. But the thing with AWS Trusted Advisor is think of AWS Trusted Advisor like an automated checklist of best practices on AWS. And they kind of map to the pillars of the well-architected framework, not exactly, but pretty close. But there are five categories of AWS Trusted Advisor. So we have Cost optimization, how much money can we save? Performance, so how can uh, we improve performance? Security, how can we improve security? Fault tolerance, how we, can we prevent a disaster or data loss? And service limits, so are we going to hit the maximum limit for a service? And so uh, the next thing we need to discuss is um, there is a variation of the amount of checks that are available to you based on your support plan. So, you know, if you're using basic or developer, you have seven trusted advisor checks. And if you have business enterprise, you have all the trusted advisor checks. So uh, if we're talking about just the ones that are available to you, the ones that come for free is MFA on root account, security groups, specified ports of unrestricted, Amazon S3 bucket permissions, Amazon EBS public snapshots, Amazon RDS public snapshots, IMU. So this is just about alerting you about discouraging the use of the root account service limits. So all service limit checks are free. Um, it's weird because they call it the like seven security checks, but if you counted all the service limits, it'd obviously be too large of a number. But notice that one through six are all security checks. So you're not getting anything from the other tiers, just the security tier. And what I want to do is just go over uh, a bunch of available checks out there. It's probably not the full list because I couldn't even be bothered to update it if they've added more but it will give you a general idea of what you could expect under each category. So for cost optimization, um, it could be things like looking at idle load balancers. So, you know, if you have load balancers you're not using, you're paying for them, so get rid of them. Unassociated elastic IP addresses. So for every IP that's not associated, you're paying for as well. Maybe under performance, you have um, high utilization of Amazon EC2 instances. So maybe you can save money by switching to smaller instances. Under security, we saw MFA on root account, very popular one. Making sure you turn on key rotation could be something as well there. Under fault tolerance, um, it could be making sure that you're using backups on your Amazon RDS database. Maybe that's turned off. Uh, for service limits, there's just a ton of them. And so uh, one that, that you know might be pertinent to you is VPCs or EC2 limits. So there you go.